All right, for those of you who may or may not know about this movie or had grown up in the 80s and probably have not talked about it since, The Man with Bogart's Face is a 1980 crime comedy parody film that was produced by, well, actually released by 20th Century Fox and was based on the novel of the same name by Andrew J. Finity, which in turn produced and wrote the screenplay as well. The film centers on a man who calls himself Sam Marlowe, who after had his face altered to resemble that of his idol Humphrey Bogart, and he opens up a detective agency. At first, he and his secretary, Duchess, have meager business, you know, very small meager business, but things really start to pick up after a shooting puts his picture in the papers. Some very ruthless people who coincidentally look like characters of Bogart's films, and they're all after a priceless set of blue sapphire jewels called the Eyes of Alexander, which were stolen from the statue of Alexander the Great. And then Marlowe and Duchess and just about anybody they came across are end up caught in the middle of it. You know, for a comedy like this, I actually love it. It has that unique take on films of the of the 30s and 40s and possibly early 50s just thrown into the early 80s and not to mention it's just a gigantic tribute to Humphrey Bogart himself and the man that played him Robert Satchi was awesome he was an awesome impersonator of Bogart himself and I was getting ready to work on this video review and I learned nearly a month late that he had passed away so the video is dedicated to him and all in all the film was actually pretty good pretty good for a comedy and you know the the casting was pretty good including Sachi himself but you also had Olivia Hussey Michelle Phillips Herbert Lom and of course uh, Franco Nero who we all know as the original Django in of course, Django. And as I said before, I'm not going to spoil this. And I just hope that all of you come across the video in like a streaming service or here on YouTube. Just watch it and you'll actually like it. And, and of course, it wasn't well received when it was first released, but... In most recent years, it received appraisal for being the greatest tribute. So, all in all, certain people would probably give this either a 3 or 4 on their film score. But me, I give it the rare 10 out of 10. You know, it being a comedy. So, like I said before, watch it and you'll see what I mean. So, thank you. I'll see you at the movies. And as always, don't forget to comment down below. Be sure to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll bring you some more film reviews very soon. And stick around for the next episode of Slasher Fridays. Thank you.